where to start. I had a big dinner. I prepared for this. It's like the size of my head. Pa arriba, pa abajo. Pa centro, pa dentro. Hey guys! I hope you're all doing super well. Welcome back. Today we're going to be trying every single alcohol that I could find from Costa Rica in the local supermarket. And I also have some specialty alcohols that I'm going to be trying and showing you guys as well. And just so you guys know, I have a big glass of water and a cup of orange juice because we're going to be trying some wild stuff here. We're going to start with the beers because they are best served cold, ice cold. And I have like a cooler here, but it's not like the best setup. So this brand is Bavaria. It says that it's from made in Costa Rica. I'm not totally sure if it is like directly from Costa Rica, if the recipe was made in Costa Rica or whatever, but these are common beers that we drink here on a day-to-day -day basis. And they are, I think the only one I've actually tried is the Bavaria Masters. So let's open her up and give it a try. I put these in the freezer for like hours, so they're either gonna be icy or really damn cold. And with these, they're cans, I'm not even gonna bother using a cup, so let's just try it. I don't feel like drinking. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> mm. Okay, so this one's 4.5% alcohol. I'm no critic. It tastes like a good beer. It's pretty light. But it has that like, almost like that artisanal flavor. All right, let's move. Let's go to the gold, Bavaria gold. And then afterwards we'll do the dark. So how much percentage does the Bavaria gold have? It doesn't say 5%. So this one's gonna be a little bit stronger than the masters. Let's give it a whirl. Smells different. It smells, smells like skunky. Yeah, this one almost has no smell at all, the Masters. Ooh, I like that one. That one's definitely a bit more skunky flavoring, flavored. <laughs> That's good. I like it. We're going to the dark side, guys. The Bavaria Dark. Oh, this one's also 5%, so it's really not as much as I thought. And yeah, just so you guys know, like it says here, made in Costa Rica by the distrib... Wait, what? Distributor La Florida? I don't know. Let's say Costa Rica and be done with it. Ooh, my tummy's a burning. <laughs> Considering this is a dark beer, or called dark, It doesn't taste like it at all. I think the gold had a stronger flavor than this one, which is weird. This one's very relaxed. I got some snacks. Now, this comes in a pack of three, and it cost me less than 2,000 colones, so that's like less than five, four or five dollars kind of thing. And I already opened this one. The picaritas are the best ones, in my opinion. And then we also have Meneitos Super and the Picaritas Barbecue. And also, my friend gave me a bucket just in case. Alright, so we'll leave those snacks there for now because we don't need them yet. I had a big dinner. I prepared for this. The next one we should try will be Cerveza Rock Limon. I actually almost forgot to get this one. I saw it in the store and I was like, okay, I need to go back and get it. And then I never went back and then I had to go to a store again to grab it. This is actually a really good one. This is perfect for like, if you're gonna go to the beach like earlier in the day. It's really refreshing, this one, if you don't want something too beery, so. Ah, it smells like lemons. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of my favorite ones. Here it's really common to have like um, a cerveza michelada. What that means is you put like salt on the rim of a glass or on the bottle even, and you put lemon juice into the beer. And this is very similar. Um, I think this made with lime though, not with lemon or anything like that. So let's see here, 4% alcohol it says here. 
This one will be one that I'm sipping on all night. I might even have to use it as Liga. If you know what that is, write it down in the comments. Look at this one. This is huge. This can is like almost a liter, I believe. 710 milliliters. And it's pretty common for people to get these. If you just want to grab a beer after work or something, this is something that's really common to buy. They cost usually about a thousand to a thousand five hundred colonas, depending on where you are buying it from. And you feel something after just one. I don't remember ever seeing one of these in Canada. Maybe in the States they have them though. I don't know. Oh, but these are the big mamas. <laughs> it's like the size of my head. Oh, by the way, this beer is Bohemia. It's a cerveza lager. And this one actually clearly states right here, made in Costa Rica. So no doubting that. It is 4% alcohol. This is usually a beer that people tend to not appreciate very much, but I actually don't even remember if I've ever tried it before. Ooh, I don't know why. It has a weird flavor. I'm happy that they're icy cold, but it's really quite watery. It's not so bad. Like I would drink it if someone like offered it to me or something. I'm legit burping already. The next brand we are moving on to is the famous Pilsen. Pilsen is the competition brand to Imperial. So, sorry guys, I have the wrong shirt on for drinking this one. But I actually really like it. I find it's a bit stronger in flavor and they have a few different kinds. So there's this one and this is one of the Big Mama cans as well. And I think it's the same amount, let's see. Yeah, 710, and this is 5.1%. So that'll get you buzzed. And here we go with the Pilsen 6.0. Now, it's a double malt. And this one, you could drink a couple of these and you're good for the rest of the night. It's tasty, it's strong, and... And all right, let's give this one a try. I've had this one a lot of times. Wow, if this one feels strong, I don't even know how I'm gonna react to the 6.0. <laughs> yeah, of all of these beers that I've had so far, this one tastes the strongest, but I think it is the strongest, right? <sighs> I need a snack. So we're going for the picaritas. No, these are the picaronas. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Picaronas. And these ones are flavored nacho cheese, spicy nacho cheese. So we're gonna go for the Pilsen 6.0. And from here is where I die. This is when I need the bucket. Okay. And it's only gonna get worse from here. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> it's so strong. Next, we're coming up to my shirt brand. Da -da -da -da. The Eagle. The king of the beers in Costa Rica. What we have here is the Imperial Regular, which is just their classic beer. It's pretty much the equivalent to the Pilsen. We can say. And then we have our Silver, which is the one that I usually drink, which is pretty much the more common one to drink, I find. There's the Light, which is more common in women to drink, which these are just things I've noticed. <laughs> And then we have the Ultra, which is my personal favorite. It doesn't taste the best, but it is low in calories. And I know it's stupid. If you're going to drink, why think about that kind of stuff? But, you know, it still counts to something. So, I don't know where to start. We will start with the Imperial Regular. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and this one has 
4.5% alcohol, so it's less strong than the Pilsen. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It has kind of a funny after note, but no, no, I was wrong. It's good. Yeah. All right, let's taste the actual difference between the three of these, four, four of them. So the silver is kind of like lighter in flavor, but I think it's the same amount of alcohol. Yeah, it's the same amount of alcohol, but has, it's lighter in flavor. That's why I usually recommend that people get this one. And that's why I get it. it tastes a little more like watery, relaxed. Yeah, I definitely prefer the silver to the regular. Now let's try this one. It has like almost an entirely different flavor, but much more watery, a lot more watery. And what is the percent on this one? 3.4. So it's really not that much lighter if you think about it. Like if you really want a light beer, it's really not that much lighter, but Actually, this one is even lighter. The Ultra, I didn't know that. I thought it was stronger, but it's only 85 calories. <laughs> and this one actually tastes a bit stronger too. So. And this one does not come in this size. It sometimes you can find it in like the tall can size, but not in this size. Wow, after all of these, this one actually doesn't taste that great. It tastes much more like watery but alcoholic at the same time. I wonder what they do to it to make it different. What is the difference? Tell us, Imperial, tell us. I like it. <laughs> I don't know, this is the one that I always go to. We're finished the beers. Oh my God, thank God. This is a pretty decent drink if you are also trying to like watch your weight and stuff like that. This one is called Ad Adam y Eva, which is like Adam and Eve. And the flavor is wild berries. And it only has 80 calories per can <laughs> and 4% alcohol. So, oh, and the big thing about it is like zero sugar. So I've had these quite a few times. Ouch, my nail. It's fruity. I've had people tell me, like when they taste it, that it tastes a lot like, almost like rubbing alcohol, which I don't find at all. For me, the biggest thing that you taste in it is aspartame. But it's not bad. I personally like it, I can drink it. It's a nice change from all the beer that I just drank. <laughs> it's a really nice change. All right, I'm gonna drink some orange juice too. Wash this all down. All right, now we are coming to the hard part. <laughs> so, and no, I'm not taking shots. I am going to sip because this is gonna be nasty. Let's start with the vodkas. This is a vodka czar and it's 35% alcohol. This is what you call a pacha. I know I asked that in one of my Instagram stories recently or like kind of a while back now, but yeah, this is what you call a pacha. It's the size, it's basically like the Mickey size. And I don't want to drink it. I think this costs like a dollar, but I'm looking at this and I think it's made by the same company that makes Cacique, which we will also be trying shortly. So if you remember from the San Jose video, we actually passed by the building that was originally um, created or built to be for that. Ugh. Wow, they really don't want those drunks opening this stuff. I'm not gonna smell it, because if I smell it, I that will just ruin everything for me. Orange juice on the ready. And I'm just gonna put like a tiny bit just to taste it. Like literally, I don't know if you can see that, like, I don't want to be taking shots right now. <laughs> I don't even know how you can actually like taste the vodka. Like, is that like a thing? Like, do I have to swish it in my mouth? Oh yeah, it smells like vodka. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> Let's taste. Mm. 
Mm -mm. I'm not sure if it was the plastic from the cup or just low quality. It kind of tastes like the smell of carrots mixed with plastic. Ugh. Like I would drink Smirnoff over this any day. <laughs> Let's try these meneitos. I don't even know what they are. Con queso. <gasps> They're cheese puffs. Da -da -da. Next up, we've got Centenario. Centenario is a rum, typical or uh, made in Costa Rica. And this is actually the most expensive thing that I bought out of everything. <laughs> I paid almost 5,000 colonas for this. This is the five, well, number five. I don't know if that means five years. Yeah, this is a five year rum. I personally have never liked Centenario, but it's possible that I just tried the less, um, the lower quality one. There's a few different options. There was like a four year, a five year, a seven year. I'm so grossed out by this now. I think I'd pick the coffee over this one another time. All right, so we're gonna take that much. It's like a quarter of an ounce. This might be the one that I actually like enjoy and keep. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Oh my gosh. This is not fun anymore. Okay guys, bottoms up. I feel like this deserves better than a shot. I feel like this should be drunk a little more slowly and carefully, such as in a mixed drink, like with some Coke or even just with some ice or some ginger ale. Yeah, this is definitely not for taking shots. <laughs> I'm glad I bought this because now I know that Centenario has won me over. I used to hate it. I thought it was not good at all, but I would say this is very similar to Florida Caña, which is very common here, but that one is made in Nicaragua. That's why I don't have it today. This one's a good one. Next, we're coming up to the Guaro. What is Guaro, you might ask? Guaro is sugarcane liquor. We have two by the Cacique brand and one here by Don Tico brand. This one, okay, so the Don Tico is 30%. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned how much percent the rum was. It was 35%. And it says here, Licor de Caña. Uh, I just realized this one's made in Mexico. Why does it say Don Tico if it's made in Mexico? I guess I'll try it. Let's see the difference between Costa Rican Guaro and Mexican Guaro. Basically, Guaro, like liquor from sugarcane, is like less distilled. It could turn to be the same thing as this. However, this is a faster process in which you do not have to wait years for it to be alcohol. And it's a lot cheaper to make. And actually, in fact, people were making this or something very similar to this much before it became legal, much before it became like a thing. It was very much a part of Costa Rican culture to drink alcohol from sugarcane and people were just making it in their backyards. And it got to the point where people were like losing control with it and not making it correctly and going blind or dying and stuff. And that is why the Costa Rican government stepped in and started to create cacique. So I think because the Don Tico is not Costa Rican, we'll try the Costa Rican ones first. And so the difference between these two, it's actually kind of silly. So there's the Cacique Guaro, the normal one. And then there's the Cacique Guaro with color. Pretty much what happened is they decided to add color to this one so it looks more like rum. I'm not sure why. And it doesn't even really look like rum. It looks like water with a little bit of ginger ale mixed into it or something. <laughs> so let's try. Whoa, I went to open it and like the bottle got harder. As I said, these are called patches, right? There's like a trend here. Well, not really so much anymore, but before 
you would get one of these and a bottle of Jet, and Jet is like an energy drink, so you call it like Pacha and Jet, and you drink that. Just a little bit, Let's see. This one is 30%. I have had some interesting times with this drink. It's really cheap. This bottle is like a dollar, I think, a dollar or two dollars, and you can get blasted on this stuff, so. It is really, really similar to vodka. It has that kind of like, as much as I don't want to say it, but everyone knows it. It's that like nail polish remover kind of flavor. <laughs> Just finish it. Oh yeah, that brings back memories. <laughs> Let's see if the Ron Colorado is any better or if it's any different or what with the oh, essence of rum and caramel color <laughs> so oh my god they make these things so hard to open mm, it smells kind of good it smells almost like licorice -y. and it's also 30 percent i put even less this time because it's like this is too much now and i've barely had any i feel like like so little of each one Never again. Here we go. Cacique Ron Colorado Rum Colored Cacique. Mm -mm. <laughs> it tastes like licorice. <laughs> I'm so over this. <laughs> this is like self torture. This is worse than the giant hamburger. <laughs> All right. Don Tico, here we go. All the way from Mexico. Let's see how it compares to Costa Rican Guaro. It smells like the same, if not worse. I'm gonna pour even less. I'm like so sick of swishing this shit in my mouth. <laughs> oh my lord. At first it tastes better on the tongue, but like the second you swallow it, it's just like, oh my god. It like stings almost. No thank you, Don Tico. Okay, no more shots. We're done. <laughs> So next up, I got an espuma, which is basically like a champagne, I think. I don't know if you guys remember from one of my very first videos, I got Vino de Nancy. This is Espuma Tico. So this one has 8% alcohol. And I think I have to pop bottles to get this open, so let's get this plastic off. Oh my god. What does one do with this? I had my assistant open this up for me. <laughs> it almost seems like a champagne the way it was closed up, but it says wine and it doesn't look like it has carbonation or anything like that. And this is made in Moravia San Jose. So let's give it a try. That's definitely Vino de Nancy. I've never really liked Nancy wine. I actually don't like Nancy at all. It has such a particular flavor and it's either going to be like sour or like kind of sweet or like it's going to have almost like an alcoholic flavor and that's exactly what this tastes like and for me that's just like if I put the fruit in my mouth and it tastes like that I have to get rid of it. It's just not pleasant for me and yeah that's exactly what this tastes like so i personally cannot say that i like it i think there's probably a lot of people who would like it i'm just not one of them all right so we are moving on to the most exciting part of this entire video i've been waiting months to do this this here you're probably wondering like what the heck is that this is fizzy <laughs> where it's going to explode <laughs> So this is Vino de Coyol. This came all the way from Guanacaste, special order. So this is alcohol that comes from a palm tree. It has something to do with like the tide, I believe. Like they say that you have to like dig a hole 
into like the tree or like near the tree or something and yeah I honestly don't know too much information about it like I was told and I just forgot everything but uh, you can only get it in Guanacaste this bottle costs like 2,000 colones for all of this and apparently you can get pretty um, happy from this and you should not be in the sun when you drink it because the sun will react to it and will make you 10 times more happy. I'm excited to try this. I'm a little bit afraid to open it, so let's see if we can give it a try now. That is strong smelling. And I'm not gonna drink too much, it's about here. All right, let's do this. Pa arriba, pa abajo, pa centro, pa dentro. That's good. It smells so much worse than it is. Well, in reality, it smells like fermented fruits, but it tastes like sweet and fizzy. Mmm. I really like that. If you guys ever go to Guanacaste, you have to f try to find this. All right, guys. Well, that's uh, that's all the alcohol that we have to try today. <laughs> Pinky is drowning here, and I think we should try this one last type of snack. So you guys can get it idea of what it is. So these are the picaritas with barbecue flavor. Okay, it's like a little square tortilla kind of chip. Pretty good. All right guys, so that is everything. That was like a lot. So guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section. And if you have anything to say about these liquors, uh, go wild and I recommend that you come down to Costa Rica and try all of them. My personal favorites out of all of these things were the Vino de Coyo, the let's say the Rock Limon and I think the Bavaria Master was one of my favorites. So let's say these three. Dun, 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 dun. Push all this over. Other stuff aside. Also, if you guys have tried any of these drinks before or if you have a personal favorite, please do let us know down below in the comments so that everyone else who's watching can check out what your favorite is and have a better idea of what to buy when they come to Costa Rica and go to the supermarket and want to drink something. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to show me that you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more fun videos about Costa Rica. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.